welcome to Barclays Center for the 2015 NBA D-League Dream Factory, presented by Boost Mobile. We start with the Boost Mobile NBA D-League All-Star three-point contest, followed by tip-off of the NBA D-League All-Star game, presented by Kumo Tire. At halftime, we'll have the NBA D-League All-Star Dunk Contest presented by Boost Mobile. First, let's begin the Boost Mobile NBA D-League All-Star Three-Point Contest by meeting our six contestants. From the Austin Spurs, a 43% three-point shooter this season, Jarrell Eddy. From the Delaware 87ers, he's shooting 42% from beyond the arc this season. Welcome, DJ Seeley. From the Erie Bayhawks, with 108 trays on the year, he's second in the league and made three pointers, Seth Curry. From the Idaho Stampede, he leads the league in threes made in the corners and is ranked third overall in three-pointers made, Shane Gibson. From the Los Angeles Defenders with 42 three-pointers so far this year, Vander Blue. And from the Reno Bighorns, his sweet spot is the top of the arc with 73 three-pointers this season. Please welcome David Ware. Ladies and gentlemen, your competitors in the Boost Bowl. Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to the home of the Brooklyn Nets. This is Dream Factory presented by Boost Mobile as we get you to the Boost Mobile NBA D-League three-point contest. Hi, everybody, I'm Jared Greenberg in Brooklyn today in advance of the 64th NBA All-Star Game tonight in Manhattan at Madison Square Garden. This is the site of last night's All-Star Saturday night where Steph Curry put on a show from distance. And then it was Zach Levine soaring above the rim, dazzling the crowd here at Barclays Center. And now it is the D-League, and there is Seth Curry, who certainly by many considered the favorite to win the D-League three-point contest, which would be part of a very special weekend for the Curry family. Well, here's what we have today in the three-point contest for the D-League. It is six players with 60 seconds to knock down up to 25 three-point tries. There'll be five stations, similar to what you saw last night if you tuned into the NBA three-point contest. Two rounds, the top two three-point shooters will advance to the championship round that will take the highest score from the final round, and we will crown a winner in the 2015 NBA D-League three-point contest. Jarrell Ellie, taking a look there. 23-year-old playing for the Austin Spurs. Should have gotten some good notes earlier this season during training camp when he was with the Atlanta Hawks alongside the NBA leader in three-point percentage, Kyle Korver. Korver didn't have such a great night last night shooting it from distance. We've all seen many time in these types of contests. It is much different shooting off a rack than it is receiving a pass from a teammate. We're underway here at the Boost Mobile NBA D-League three-point contest. Jarrell Eddy, ninth in the D-League in three-point percentage, just over 43% for the season. Eddy off to his second rack. Eddy now at the top. One interesting note here about Eddie, mentioned Kyle Korver, guys who like to receive passes and shoot. Eddie has 88% of his threes this season coming off of a teammate's assist, and he has certainly caught fire and then cools down there. Six foot seven, 218 pounds. Eddie now in the corner. Four three 
three-pointer, so that's where the bar is set now. representing the Delaware 87ers. He's underway with the benchmark being set by Jarrell Eddy with 24 made. Eddy set it with 24. Now Seeley after one rack has just one made. Seeley 12th in the D-League in scoring this year at about 19 and a half points per contest. 14th in three-point percentage. Still just one made here for Seeley. He's got the great Twitter handle of at Vitamin D Seeley. Digging deep here. Seeley out of Cal State. Fullerton has knocked down a second. Maybe find some rhythm here. Here comes Seeley. After starting off two for 12, and he is taking advantage of those money balls, which are worth two points each, and he knocks down four out of five on that rack. But time is the enemy there. As the 60-second clock has expired, he goes for 15 in round one. Vasily is going to need some significant help here from the remaining competitors in round one in order to advance. And here comes the, you'd have to say, unofficial favorite coming into tonight. Steph Curry, the league leader in scoring at nearly 24 for night, per night. And he starts here from the left corner. A two out of the first five made, including the money ball. Remember last night's spectacular showing by his brother, Steph, in the final round. One point hitting 13 in a row. Curry, much like his brother also, in serious contention to take home league MVP honors. seconds to go for Curry. He's got the money ball rack to finish up now with 10 seconds to go. Gets the official count as soon as he's done with the rack here. And he knocks it down. Uh, 21 to put Curry in second place and dad and mom taking this one in courtside. This venue was pretty good to him last night. All right, so remember the top two advanced to the second round. Now it's Shane Gibson. He's got to beat Curry of 21, and Darrell Eddy, he's got 24, the high. Shane Gibson out of... Idaho Stampede, 12th in the league, shooting better than 41.5% from downtown. Eddie, no, uh, Shane Gibson, number two in the league in three-pointers attempted this season. Only trailing the team in Richmond. 33 seconds to go. Gibson really specializes in the quarter threes here, so wants to leave yourself plenty of time to get to the final rack. Interesting that he put the money ball here on the wing. I mentioned the top quarter three-point shooter in the D-League this season. Hey, look at him. He certainly knows what he's doing. Out of the final rack here for Gibson. Needs to be 21. We'll get you the number and tell you where he is. He runs out of time on the rack, which you think he would do best at. He has 16. So Shane Gibson, he is done. And 
Now it'll be Vander Blue. He's on the LA Defenders. Blue, ninth in the league in three point shooting, but no more of a guy who penetrates, slashes, gets to the cup. Blue, you may recall last year, had a cup of coffee with the Boston Celtics. And he's starting now from the right corner. I like to see the different approaches, too, with the warm up jerseys, shirts versus wearing a game jersey. These guys have been getting loose in the Nets practice facility here at the arena underneath the seats for the last several minutes. Blue at the top of the key now. Blue fourth in the league in scoring, 21 and a half, 21 and a half per night. He's now on the left wing where he's got the money ball rack. He's dropped one ball here, so we'll see. Now he has to reach back to get it. It's gonna cost him some time here as he gets down, goes and gets it, Blue. No good there. Final rack here with three seconds to go. One shot to go. Blue gets it off in time and comes up short. And only seven made for Blue. Now to the final shooter. David Ware. The big fella. His twin brother. Balls Madison Square Garden home these days. Travis playing for the Knicks. David Ware certainly knows about taking threes. We'll talk a whole lot more about what his Reno Bighorns have been doing this season when the D-League All-Star game comes up a little later on. Ware at 6 foot 10 out of UCLA. Remember he transferred there after a season at UNC with his brother. Ware takes the majority of his threes from the wing and the top of the three-point line right here. Ware struggling to get going here. 11th in the league, just under 43% from downtown. He's got the 10th most three-pointers made this season. It averages just over 16 and a half points per night. And now the money ball rack in the left corner. Mentioned stretch four doesn't take many corner three shockingly enough during the regular season, but where taking advantage and doesn't manage the clock right, so he leaves one ball on the rack. He's got 17 and he is eliminated. So the two advancing to the second round will be Jarrell Eddy and Seth Curry. Can it be a Curry special at Barclays? Curry with 21 in the first round. His brother had 51 points not too long ago in a regular season game. Seth scored 43 this season, among the highest point totals in the D League this season. And that'll be Curry and Eddie. Both of these guys are free agents in terms of the NBA. Let's go down to midcourt, check in with Scotty B as he talks with All Terrell Eddie right, and, and Seth Curry. We are with our two finalists, Curry and Seth here, and we are getting ready to go into this final round. Seth, looks like you are going to go first. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm excited, let's do it. First time in Brooklyn having some fun in this contest. You think you're gonna pull this off? I think so, he, he can shoot it as well, but uh, it's, it's all about getting that rhythm and whoever knocks him down right here, I'll take it home. All right, we're gonna get you into the starting line there. Congratulations and good luck to both players. We'll find out who is going to be our champion in just a moment. Looks like the money ball rack has been set to the far right baseline. All right, so Seth Curry will go first. Been told that uh, Seth has said that he has an undisclosed wager with his brother on who would perform better at the three-point contest. Steph has already set the bar. Remember that championship round hit 27 of possible 30 balls. Seth won't be matching that. Hit 21 in the first round. Seth and Steph 
both take about eight three-pointers during regular season games. Seth playing for the Erie Bayhawks, the league leader in scoring at 24 per night. Interesting note about Curry as a shooter. He's got a higher percentage from distance than he does two-pointers. He airballed that one. Pressing now with seven seconds to go. Curry trying to take advantage of the money balls. Curry, not much rotation on that ball, but he knocks it down. Fifteen in the second round for Seth Curry. It's going to be tough to make it that Curry special here. We'll have to find out what that wager was with Seth and Steph. Jarrell Eddy, he's the only one that wore a jersey. He shot. Jarrell Eddy had 24 in the first round. 6'7", 218, 23 years old. Ninth in the league in three-point shooting. Fifth in free throw percentage. Eddie's got it going right out of the gate. Jarrell Eddy. On to the left wing. Jarrell Eddy not cooling down at all. Jarrell Eddy, straight away look. One now to take home the title, and Eddie has gotten it, but how far will he go with it? Jarrell Eddie, unconscious. Final rack for Eddie. He's cooled off here at the end, but Jarrell Eddie has run away with the 2015 Boost Mobile NBA D-League three-point contest. 25 for Jarrell Eddy after a first round total of 24. Jarrell Eddy denying the Curry family a sweep in the three-point contest. From the Austin Spurs, Jarrell Eddy gets the title. Stay with us as we are getting set to bring you the 2015 NBA D-League All-Star Game here from Barclays. We'll be joined by Rick Hamlet, Brent Barry, and Dennis Scott in just a moment. Stick with us here from Barclays in Brooklyn.